Hello, let's start 17th July current affairs MCQs. First question is consider the following regarding NABARD. Option A It is Apex Banking Institution to provide finance for agriculture and rural development. Option B It is a statutory body established under National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development Act 1981. Option C It provides recommendations to the RBI on issue of licenses to cooperative banks, opening new cooperative banks and region rural banks. Option D all the above. So here uh, all these statements are correct. So option D is a correct answer. NABARD is um, a statutory body. It is established under National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development Act and it provides recommendations to RBI on the issue of licenses to cooperative banks and new cooperative banks in the states and also regional rural development banks. So now the second uh, question is consider the correct statement about neurotoxins. First statement is these are the toxins that are destructive to nerve tissue. Second statement alcohol, nitric oxide, lead are some of the examples of neurotoxins. So here say, both the statements are correct. So option C is a correct answer. Now coming to the third question what scheme aims to enhance the adoption of precision irrigation and other water saving technology um, in the farmer sector okay so option a pm kisan yojana option b pm kausal vikas yojana option c pm krishi sinchai yojana and option d pm swamitva scheme so the correct answer is pm krishi sinchai yojana now what is pm kisan yojana it is providing uh, money that is 6000 per annum to farmers and pm swamitva scheme is related to mapping of uh, the land and uh, for remote villages and other villages so this is swam about swamitva scheme so here overall uh, water saving technology and precision ir irrigation in agriculture is under pm krisi sinchai yojana now fourth question is what are common service centers option a providing skill development for youth option b provides employment for poor women option c provides e-services to rural and remote areas option d provide loans to farmers so the common service centers provide e-services to rural and remote areas Op, uh, fifth question consider the following statements regarding kvic kadi village industries corporation so option a it is a constitutional body option b it is under the ministry of commerce and industry option c it is objective is creating self-reliance amongst people option d all the above so here actually kvic is a statutory body and this body is established under Khadi and Village Industries Commission Act 1956. So option A is wrong. And it is not under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. It is under the Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. That is Ministry of MSME. So option B is also wrong. And option C, its objective is creating self-reliance amongst people. So option C is a correct answer. So that's all for today. If you like it, subscribe it.